All right, from fashion to food, I'd like to welcome back to the show Evan Erickson. He's the owner of Pie 95. And not too long ago, Rance was out there to learn about really the dishes and the food and got the sample. But today, again, we're flipping things around and we're getting to the mind of you being an entrepreneur. So my first question for you is, how did you decide to get into this industry? Because it's a little bit of a, a passion type project and a, and a moment, a key moment. Well, to get into the industry, I guess um, I learned by having to cook my own dinners as a young child. Sorry, love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> We're not on TV, right? No, but it, um, like you said, it's a passion, it's a drive, it's an ambition. It's um, when you cook and you create something and you deliver it to a friend or a neighbor or just a loved one and they get that fulfillment of it, it's, it brings so much joy to Absolutely. creating something. The other thing too, when you talk about passion, it's not a nine to five, correct? No. So when you do something like this, like you are working around the clock. It's a 24 seven. I don't think people always get that at first yeah. being an entrepreneur. So um, for example, the restaurant's open Tuesday through Saturdays from five to 9 p.m. They say, why are you only open at those hours? They think those are the only hours that I'm working. Within all the rest of the day, we're brainstorming different ideas, different concepts, different recipes, different ways to exercise of bringing customers in the door, you know? And then one of the questions, because obviously customers are key, right? You got to market and advertise yourself. What is a challenge that you have that going into this, you didn't even realize would be a challenge? <laughs> so something that along the way you discover like, oh wow, I didn't think of this. So I, with my heart, hate this term. I'm gonna say it. If it will go wrong, or if it can, it will yeah. go wrong. <laughs> and it's just, you just have to embrace the suck at times. Just like realize, you know what, we're gonna get through it. We're all together here. We're here for, the family of the customers, just keep moving, just keep moving, um, and we're gonna get through it. Like, you just, there will always be a brighter day. Now, one of the things, like right away I'm hearing, we're doing this for the customers. Yeah. When you started out, did you have a mission statement? Did you have like a direction that you wanted to go? Or along the way, you kind of figured it out? I think that more so progressed into it. I, sure. um, the mission statement that I guess I could have started was with, um, so my culinary career before this was all like, $200, $300 meals, working for other people, not a typical nine to five has to cook at another place. So I wanted to bring food that was accessible to anybody at any level of pay raise, what they could come in and they could enjoy. So starting on a food cart, a concession trailer, we were on the side of Phillips Highway, waving people down, $12, come just try my pizza. I just want you to try the pizza. You know, doing events where we could just give the food away and we just wanted it to be like a communal, affordable product. It's interesting too, because you started out really with that hustle side of things. And anybody who had any type of company that started to thrive, it started there. You know, yeah. you talk about, you know, the, the ground roots type of thing, Very really so. like talking to people to get it going. Uh, what about this? What is something, because I say hindsight's 2020. Yeah. What's something that if you could go back in time and see Evan from years ago, be like, don't do this or do this, <laughs> what would that message be? I went and went to culinary school. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a lot of things. Um, I would like to say that I would like to change a lot of different things about it, but then that wouldn't make me be the person that I am sure. today. Um, so having to go through all these hard times of the ups and the downs and like, like, I'm not gonna lie, the hard times really outweigh some of the good times. But when you get that good time and you get that review and you get that customer that's coming in on a day that you're prepping and they're like, we had that gnocchi, it was phenomenal. And they sit down and they talk to you. That's like the biggest hug that you can receive. Like finance is very important. It, it's great if you're just killing it and selling out sure. every day. But having that from the customers, if you own a gym, if you own a construction business, if you own food, if you're like yourself, you know, just like having us here and taking care of us, that's what it's about. It's the hospitality industry. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting. We started out, you know, where you went to the customer and then we circled all the way back around. It really is all about that. Yeah, you now know, they're so, coming to us. Yeah, that is great. Which is the hardest part now. Well, thanks again for coming, you know, on the show and sharing just a different side of information with our audience. If people want to learn more about Pi95, what's the best route? How do they contact you? So, you please definitely check out our Instagram and Facebook. It's very simple. It's at P-I-E, Pi95 Pizza. If you have problems, remember that, just think I-95. <laughs> it's an East Coast pizza. You know, East Coast um, driven. Um, some people want to call it Neapolitan, but it's not. But definitely check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Our restaurant is located in Riverside, 1510 King Street. 
Um, very small little location, very quaint, a lot of takeaways, small intimate dining. Um, so please check us out well, there. Thanks again. We appreciate it. Stick around. More to come right after this. Thank thanks, you. Ben.